Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa, and I used to really like driving a lot, and now it just, I can't do it anymore, guys. I cannot do it. People do the wackest, most like unexplainable things while they're driving. I just like, I don't have the patience for it. I feel like I'm gonna die. Like people are, they just drive me crazy and I can't, I don't like to drive anymore, okay? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite summer products, my most recommended summer products of the moment. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna title this yet, but these are my current summer favorites, my summer makeup recommendations for you. So let's just get into this. I'm going to go in order of how I would put them on my face. I am not someone who regularly uses primer, so I'm skipping over primers today. So let's go ahead and just jump into foundations. I have two that I wanna recommend. The first one is the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. This is a light slash sheer coverage foundation, but it has the prettiest glow to it. I'm wearing it today mixed in with the other one I'm gonna talk to you guys about, but if you are a fan of a light coverage foundation, this is a really, really great one. It's very lightweight, and it just gives the skin a really healthy appearance. Then the next one is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is an oldie, but a goodie. This is a foundation that I feel like any skin type can wear. My skin type, I don't even know what it is right now. It used to be normal to oily, and now I feel like it's more normal to dry, but I've been wearing this foundation throughout that whole transition. My skin's going through a weird, weird phase right now, but um, I feel like every skin type can wear this foundation. I feel like it will work for everyone. It's got a really pretty natural, like, satin matte finish. So it's not too matte, but it's definitely not dewy. I mixed it today with the Clinique one to get more of a dewy finish. This is a medium to full coverage foundation, so if you're not into light foundations, then this one would be really, really great. And I really like that one because I feel like matte foundations are just not meant for summer. Obviously, if you have really oily skin, then they help out a lot, but I, I don't know. I just feel like they get kind of crusty looking as the day goes on, and I'd rather wear something that's more of a natural finish so that it kind of like wears more gracefully, I guess. So that's why I'm recommending those ones to you guys. Then I also want to recommend the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I mix these with my foundation all the time. I mix this one in with my foundation today. You can also use them as a liquid highlighter. They work super, super well for that. Why is it that literally every time I film, they're leaf blowing? It's like almost 4 p.m. right now and they're leaf blowing. I could film at 8.30 in the morning and they'd still be leaf blowing. I speak from experience. Bye. <sighs> Doing a really thorough leaf blow job right now. Like, for real. I knew it wasn't going to be over. I knew it wasn't going to be. Okay, I think he's finally going away. Anyways, God, I feel like that took an eternity. Basically, these are just really good for giving you a natural, super, super glowy glow. Like, these are really, really intense, but they can look really natural as well. I know they're expensive, but they're definitely worth the money, and, like, you're not going to run out of this for, like, three or four years, no joke. I've had these for all probably around a year, and they're still like basically full. Then the concealer that I wanna recommend is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one's just really nice because it gives you really good coverage. I am wearing it today, but it also stays hydrating throughout the day. A lot of concealers that are popular, like Shape Tape and the ColourPop one, and um, the Makeup Revolution one, they're all kind of drying, I find, and I like something that's a little more hydrating, so also recommending that because it's gonna give you the dewy summer skin look. Some categories I'm gonna skip over, like brows I'm gonna skip over, because like there's not really a summertime brow, you know? I'm not gonna mention mascara or eyeliner or lashes, so yeah. 
We're gonna go ahead and get into bronzer now. I have two that I wanna recommend. I have mostly two of everything. I have a couple more of some things, but the first bronzer I wanna recommend is the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. This is a really nice kind of like middle of the road bronzer as far as warmth goes. I'm wearing it today. It's definitely not too warm, but it's not cool enough to be a like legitimate contour plus it has a really pretty sheen to it as I'm sure you can tell in here so I really like this for summer because I like a sheeny bronzer I like something with a little bit of glow in it just to give my skin like this all-over glossy effect but if you're not into that don't you worry I have another one here I would also recommend the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer and it has the perfect warmth to it. Like it's not so warm that it's orange, but it's definitely a warm bronzer. Again, this one is matte, but it does have kind of like a natural sheen to it. Like it's not a flat matte. It's got a little bit of something to give you a little bit more like dimension in the face. So yeah, I really like wearing these two bronzers for summer for those reasons. Then I have a couple of different blushes. The first one I wanna recommend is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush because this is a sheeny blush. I am also wearing this on my cheeks today. It just looks very, 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 very natural, but it's got that sheen to it again. So you can see as I turn my face, there's like a gloss that moves wherever the light hits it. And this is just one of those products that helps kind of get that all over glow effect. And then if you're looking for something a little bit brighter for summer, I want to recommend the Flower Beauty Flower Pots blush. This one specifically is in the shade Warm Hibiscus. So it's like a brighter coral color, but it's also got this really, really pretty gold shimmer sheen situation going on and it just looks so incredible um, especially with like a more dramatic look if you're not going so natural or if you want something that like screams summer this is it then for all you people who don't like sheen in your blush or bronzers i have a matte blush that i want to recommend it's the ofra blush in the shade mai tai this color is so epic. I love this color so much. It's kind of like a slightly coral creamsicle orange color. It's so unique. I've, I've never really seen anything like this color and it looks even more orange in person. It's very vibrant and it just has like that tropical vibe to it. So yeah, if you're looking for kind of a blush that's got a little bit more pop to it but is matte, this is the one. The leaf blower guy's back. Oh my God, why is it? Who needs to leaf blow that much? Why is he back? He was over here for literally like five minutes straight leaf blowing. I'm really angry about this leaf blower. Anyways, for highlighter, I have two recommendations. The first one is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Lunch Money. It is what I am wearing on the high points of my face here. It's just a really delicious, creamy, super easy to blend, super easy to build up highlight. You can actually get away with this looking much more natural than what I've got going on. This is probably about, I don't know, three or four layers using my finger to apply it. So you definitely can sheer this out to be not as blinding. And that's one of the reasons why I think it's so great because you can build it up to be super intense or keep it more low key and it's really easy to work with. And then if you're looking for something that's even more intense, I wanna recommend the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. This one, you can't get away with um, really shearing it out. Like it's just intense, but it's so perfect for summer because it looks so incredibly wet on your face. Like when girls say that they don't sweat, they sparkle, this is what they mean. Okay, now I wanna move into eyeshadow and I have three eyeshadow palettes that I wanna recommend. They all just really scream summer to me and they're all pretty different as well, but I feel like out of any of them, you could get a pretty solid variation of summer looks. So the first one is the Urban Decay Beached Palette. I wanna recommend this one just because it's got the perfect summer tones in it. You've got these more sandy colors up here and then you've got a variety of orange and bronze shades to work with. And then you've got these two really, really, really pretty pops of blue. This palette just, it screams summer. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is just, it was destined to be a summer palette. So yeah, I definitely wanna recommend that one. And then the next one is the Alamar Cosmetics Palette. The 
Rana del Caribe. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Rana del Caribe. It's kind of similar to the Beach palette, but you've got a little bit more variety in your matte shades. And then you also get this really pretty kind of like rose gold shade and this really, really pretty lime, like silver color. So I feel like you could definitely use these palettes in conjunction, or you can obviously use them by themselves too. This one just gives you more of an opportunity to build different looks with the different shades that it has in it, and it's still super, super, super summery. I probably wouldn't reach for this palette outside of summer, but I'm gonna be reaching for it all summer long. Then this one I literally just got in the mail today, and I'm mentioning it even though I haven't used it because I know that he has a really good formula, and this palette is like, if I had to pick one, this is the epitome of summer. It's the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. Let me let me just open this so you can see if you haven't seen it yet. This is summer in an eyeshadow palette. Look at it. This is this is such a summer palette and I'm so excited to use this. You can definitely expect at least one video with this soon. I just think this color combination is so freaking gorgeous. I love these three shades here, the yellow and the blue and the teal, and then these kind of like corally pink orange colors. Oh my gosh. I just think this is so pretty. And then you've got like some staple mattes to really build looks. And then of course this gorgeous row of metallic shades. So I just feel like this, the, I mean, I keep saying it, but it just looks so, so summery. I mean, on this palette alone, you could create endless looks. If you're kind of only in the budget for one palette, this is a more expensive one, but you get a bunch of shadows. And like I said, the, the variety of looks is just endless. Now I'm gonna move into lip products. And this is the category that I have the most things in, but I'm gonna try to speed through it pretty quickly. So the first thing I wanna recommend is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Oils. I have three of them, that's how much I like them. I have the shades Peachsicle, that was really hard to say, Peachsicle, Peach Fuzz, and Peach Teas. These are just really nice because you can throw them on over a naked lip and they look really, really good. They give you just the added bit of color and gloss that you need and they wear off super, super gracefully. Since they're an oil, they're not really sticky. So they just kind of fade as the day goes on. And I think they're really perfect for summer because they're easy to maintain. And then I also wanted to talk about the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips. I have two from the collection with Ava Gatowski. She's my life as Ava on Instagram. I have the shades Love Bite and Party Wave. These, I wasn't sure that I was gonna like, but I was intrigued by them and they're so, so easy. It's like a your lip color but better situation, but it gives you more color. So it's not necessarily super sheer, but it looks like you're just like putting on like another lip skin. That sounds so weird. I don't know how to explain it. It literally looks so natural so even though it's not your natural lip color, it just looks like you still have like your bare lips. Let me know if that makes any sense at all because I feel like it doesn't, but I don't know how else to explain it. I, yeah, I, I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> Then I wanted to talk specifically about this NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Unlaced. This formula is amazing. It's cushiony, it's soft, it's velvety, it's so good, and the color is so, so pretty. This is just another one of those products that I feel wears off really, really gracefully. It has a opaque color to it, so it's not sheer. You're not gonna be able to see your lips through it. The formula is just something so special, and it's just perfect for summer. I feel like summer is not meant for matte lips. I feel like it just gets, like, same thing with foundations. It gets crusty, dusty, weird. I don't know, it just, I'm really into, like, dewy, glossy vibes for summer. That's why I'm recommending so many glosses, but I do have some matte lips. I feel like if you're gonna go with a bold lip color, it has to be matte. I don't like a creamy bold because I don't want it to slide all over the place. So the first things I want to recommend are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks in the shade Romantic and Heroin. These are awesome. I have several of these Superstay lips, but I will say they are very sticky. When you stick your lips together, they stay together and they kind of take a little bit to come apart. I don't find it uncomfortable, but I know some people do, so I have alternatives. If you don't like that kind of situation, I have a NYX Licks a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Pink Lust. This is a pretty good dupe for the shade Romantic from the Maybelline line. And then I have this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Kismet, 
which is pretty close to heroin from the Maybelline line. And then um, along the same lines, this isn't really a direct shade match. Well, I guess it's kind of close. This one's a little bit more red. This is the NYX Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Light My Fire. I wore this in my summer statement makeup tutorial. I can link that below if you want to see what this actually looks like on. But um, these are all really, really good mattes for summer, in my opinion, both color-wise and formula-wise. And then I just have a couple glosses that I want to talk about and we'll be done. I'm showing them to you all for the same reason. These are super, super high shine glittery glosses. I love a super glittery gloss. So I'm going, well, I can't recommend one to you because it's not available anymore, but I'm going to make up for it. So I'm recommending the Fenty Gloss Balm. If you don't have this yet, you need it. I thought I didn't like it at first and I was just applying too much of it. A lot of it comes out on the doe foot applicator. So I always kind of wipe it off on the rim of the tube before I apply it. And it's amazing. Then there's the Laura Lee X ColourPop X No Kill LA Gloss and Wham. I'm pretty sure this is still available. You should definitely go get your hands on it if you haven't already or you could buy the Shayla lip gloss with them in the shade Neat Freak. It's the same kind of vibe. It's just not quite the same tone. This is more rose gold, and I think Shayla's is a little bit more gold champagne. Then there is the MAC X Patrick Star Mama Star Kiss lip glass that came in his first summer collection. I know you have to buy the entire like face kit to get this, but there are some really, really good products in that collection of his, and for $50, Considering everything that you get in the bundle, I think it would be worth it to get it for this and then those extra things, obviously. And then the one that's not available anymore is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Over the Top Gloss, but I am gonna show it to you guys because they have a new lip gloss range and there are several that have this super glittery effect. One that I personally want is the shade Goals. You can check it out on Ulta. You can check it out on their website. If you're a fan of the super glittery lip gloss situation, definitely check those out. So so yeah guys those are all of my kind of current summer favorites and my summer makeup recommendation my summer makeup product recommendations for you guys so yeah i hope that you liked this video i hope i did an okay job at explaining why i like these products so much for summer sometimes it's really hard for me to explain why i like a certain product so i always feel like i struggle with that but i'm trying to get better at it. So um, if you have any questions, comments, confusion, let me know down below and I will definitely be happy to clarify or talk with you more about whatever you want to know. Other than that, just give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. I post new videos every other day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.